Hello and welcome back to Retro Ticket. This is Hari. Kamal Hassan is usually called the successor to the great Shivaji Ganesha. However, his 80s movies were pitched to entertain like the MGR genre of masala flicks. But this movie takes the whole masala movie template and keeps subverting it or keeps poking holes at it through its screenplay and dialogues. Today, we look at the phenomenal Aburva Sagodara Gulf. Kamal had played a dwarf for a small sequence in K. Balachandra's Punnagai Mannan and this was the genesis of the idea for Aburva Sagodaragal. During a conversation between Kamal and the movie's director, Singidam Srinivasarao. Charlie Chaplin was a shot in a call for a while. He was a shot in 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 a while. ஒரு ரிஹர்சல் பார்த்தது வந்து பாலச்சந்திரையா படத்துல தான் ஆமா த இனிஷியல் வேர்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டோரி வாஸ் ஆஃப் அ ஃபெயில் லவ் ட்ரையாங்கிள் பிட்வீன் அட் வார்ஃப் அண்ட் டூ கேர்ள்ஸ் வித் ஹிம் இவென்ச்சுவலி ஜாயினிங் த சர்க்கஸ் and walking into the sunset after 2 to 3 days of shooting this idea was discarded thanks to the intervention of the master of masala movie templates writer producer director panju arunachalam he gave them the idea to make appu the hero and give him a heroic arc instead of a tragic ending after 8 or 9 days i had a doubt whether this film was working then we all started thinking this way we said anand told so some other idea crazy mon said some other idea but nothing was working thirumba 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 pesikitte irundha idu sariya varala na 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 nenachena nama pesina edathile olandukittirukka nalla commercial sagalagala on writer kootittu varen avarta idu kaatren avarudaiya vimarsana enna ngiradhu yaadu kettukuvan appadinte panjana na kootittu vande andha video mathram potu kaatna hey kamal enna pa idu appadinaru ye avan dhaan pa hero பிள்ளைகள்ிருந்த <laughs> 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 and crazy mohan anantu kamal hasan is there we all worked the door scenes and the main scenes and uh, the villains four villains how they should be is a police officer everything in this revised script they introduced the twin brother separated at birth angle and also included a conflict establishing opening sequence which has a poisonous plan by the villains to explain the dwarfism this movie is a screenwriting masterpiece take for example MGR's Engel Vittu Pillai, where a strong and a weak brother get separated at birth and the strong one returns to save the weak one later in the movie. The strong and the weak are flipped here and so the seemingly disadvantaged brother returns to take revenge while the normal guy is shown to be a dummy piece who keeps getting caught by the police due to mistaken identity. Kamal had approached Mauli to write dialogues for this movie. However, Mauli was busy with his directorial ventures in Telugu and so recommended Crazy Mohan. It so happened that at that time around Kamal was shooting for a different movie in a graveyard near Crazy Mohan's house and when Mohan stepped out to see what was all the commotion about Kamal called him over from the crowd and asked to meet him in Alvarpet office in 2 days time. This meeting led to one of Tamil cinema's greatest writer actor director combinations. some of the best word play in tamil cinema which will go on to be called the crazy mohan brand of comedy are on show here even the slapstick sections of the movie the twin brother raja's track along with the comic duo of janakaraj and rs shivaji as the bumbling policeman is filled with witty one liners which help the story weave in and out of the brothers parallel story lines this was the blueprint that evolved into a genre unto itself in the future with brilliant and successful collaborations such as Michael Madana Kamarajan Avvai Shanmugi Kadala Kadala Sati Leelavathi Tenali Pammal Ke Sambandham and Vasul Raja MBBS 
when we want to have a fresh type of villain, the only way was instead of casting an established big villain, cast a comparatively new person. He must be a brilliant actor also. And make him a villain, he has got a very good chance of appearing a big villain because it is going to be unexpected. Such ideas can come only in a brainstorming session. At that meeting, we got the name of Nagesh. It was brilliant. At the same time, we started thinking it was very novel. One of the greatest actors India has produced. <laughs> while Nagesh's dark humor infuses venom into the main villain character named Dharmaraj, the names of his accomplices are decidedly leg pulling by the writers. Delhi Ganesh is Francis Anbarasu. A lying lawyer, Jay Shankar, is Satyamurti, while Nasir is Nallasivam. We all know how Kamal will go on to use the same names Anbarasu and Nallasivam for a different kind of wordplay in the movie Anbesivam. This could also be the first instance where we get to see some of the staples of the ensemble cast of the Kamal Crazy Mohan movies. Here we have Sri Vidya, Manorama, Mauli, Janakaraj, R.S. Shivaji and Kavitalaya Krishnan playing minor but key roles. With all the focus on the male characters, the makers deliver very weak characterizations of the two leading ladies played by Gautami and Rupini. The writing in these parts uses lazy tropes and has definitely not aged well. It could well be argued that the success of this movie helped propagate these false tropes for at least a couple of more decades in Tamil cinema. To portray a dwarf for a full-length feature film required a different level of commitment from Kamal the actor and an even more mind-boggling level of physical and scientific work in the background from the technicians involved. In multiple interviews and interactions, the director Singitam Srinivas Rao, Kamal and co-writer Crazy Mohan have spoken about the immense value add that the technical team contributed to the final output. Not only P.C. Sriram's genius in lensing dwarf Kamal from certain angles to make him appear shorter than he was, but also the brilliant editing by Lenin and V.T. Vijayan ensured that the circus stunts and the fight stunts performed by the Appu character are registered seamlessly by the audience. First thing was performance when he is standing. For that, special shoes were made which goes up the knees. And the whole person is buried knee deep and everything is covered with sand. You can crane, you can take a crane shower from down, you can trolley around, but he is static. Everybody will be going around, but he is static. So that was the simplest we could do. Now the problem comes when he is walking. From the foot to the knee, it was 18 inches. This was exactly calculated. And a lengthy pit was dug, like that it goes. And Kamala Hassan is walking in that pit. From here, eye level, if you see, the pit will be seen. Therefore, to make it look real, the camera has to be placed in another pit, so that the surface of the land on this side and that side, they merge. The pit is not seen. They are all in one perspective. So, when Kamalasan is walking, it looks as though he is walking on the land. Suddenly, we found his hands are normal. Mr. Kamalasan had an idea. So, he said, only when we give this, immediately people will say, oh, this man has got long hands and a short feet. So, he kept his hands like that and as a mannerism, he had these two hands like that. The technique of the dwarf. This has been the talking point for all their country because in all the three languages it's a big hit and everybody telling in those days when graphics 
were not there you were able to do it two things one is all mechanics and the great effort put in by mr kamal hasan because it is a physical pain to do that it is not easy even while watching the movie today after having experienced vfx and digital cinema the effect that the movie creates for us audiences is jaw dropping special mention is warranted for raj kamal productions for putting so much faith in the project they almost shipped half a circus of animals tigers elephants camels train trick dogs etc from kerala to chennai to complete some of the reshoots maestro ilai raja composes to kavinyar wali's award winning lyrics and each song here is an oral and visual delight the raja kayavacha song adopts hollywood movie grease like visualizations of morphing cars and changing costumes the song unna nenache paattu padichen is used as the interval block sequence with an emotional high kavinyar wali got the state award for the best lyricist for this song on a personal note as a small kid i remember the song's emotional high leaving me in tears in front of the ice cream counter of the theater music ingra or yamatha vala thana idu enna irukku kamal vande abhurva savargalukku vande or part compose pandradhukaga vande or situation sonna na or tune potta adu avarku pidikala pidikala na na epo eduthukra maari yen sir enna edhirpaarkringa appo kettone sir idu vande konjam nalla melodya potirukinga romba soft ah irukku inna konjam thullaloda venum உதாரணம் சொன்னா பழைய பாட்டு ஒண்ணு சொல்றேன் நீங்க கோச்சுக்க கூடாதுன்னு சரி என்ன சொல்லுங்க அப்படின்னா எம்ஜிஆர் பாட்டுல சார் நான் பார்த்ததில்லை அவள் ஒருத்தியை தான் நல்ல அழகி என்று நல்ல அழகி இந்த மாதிரி வேணும் சார் அப்படின்னு கேட்டா அதுக்கப்புறம் தான் அவனு தெரியும் This movie is an important addition not only to Tamil cinema but to Indian cinema also. See you soon in another episode.